Hello, traders, and good to be with you. Tradingwithbill.com. I'm Bill. We're in Thailand, and it's a Friday, and it's December 1st. It's the last month of the year. Traders, we're going to be talking Forex. Traders, let's get started. I apologize for yesterday. Computer issues. Let me tell you about computers. <laughs> when they work, they're great. When they don't work, <laughs> it's a disaster, right? So I've had my iMac for I'm going on five years. Well, it's starting to like um, do weird things now. And I'm wondering like, do I gotta replace this? So I went to look at prices. Whoa, IMAX. Well, the max IMAX is almost $3,000. And um, the medium IMAX is over $2,000. And the crap IMAX is $1,000. <laughs> ah. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? Anyhow, let's, um, it's a Friday and I normally don't do this on Friday, but I missed yesterday and um, we just got to keep going. So let's take a look at what's going on in the economic calendar and um, let's take a look at our um, indices. So the S&P 500 um, futures is down 0.32%. NASDAQ futures is down 0.32%. The Dow is positive 1.39%. And the small cap 2000 is positive 0.17%. With the small cap um, 500 VIX positive 5.42%. Nikkei 225 is up. 0.18% and the DAX is down 0.19% as we speak and the dollar index is still at 92.95 at the moment maybe we'll get back up to that 94 area pretty soon so let's see what's happening um, I had some data uh, earlier today nothing really big uh, AIG manufacturing index out of um, the Aussie was today but there was no previous and no, I mean, there was a previous, but no forecast. So we really don't have anything on that. Um, some data out of Japan today. Uh, household spending, uh, negative 2.9 versus negative 1.4. Uh, that's not a good number. And that was month on month. Um, year on year, it's um, in the green at zero, zero point, um, it's actually flat, 0, 0.0, and they're expecting negative 0. 0.2. Um, natural uh, core CPI is okay. Everything else looks pretty good. Um, moving into today, uh, we have Spanish manufacturing PMI today out. Um, and what else do we got going on? German manufacturing PMI, manufacturing PMI out of the Euro. Uh, Great British Pound has manufacturing PMI. It's PMI Friday, PMI Friday. Um, the CAD has unemployment change today, full unemployment change. And GDP month on month. Um, so quite a big day there. And of course, the unemployment rate, um, and they're expecting 6.2. Um, U.S. has manufacturing PMI and ISM manufacturing PMI today. So that's what's going on on a Friday, my friends. Pretty busy for a Friday, I've got to say. Let's take a look at some charts today. So today, my um, winner for today looks like this. This is the Euro Aussie. And, you know... It's, it's pretty strange because, you know, the Euro's weak and the, and the Aussie's weak, in my opinion. So now we're going to take a look at this. And basically what I did on this pair was I'm looking at a, you know, this is hit highs, right? It's on a, it's an, on a move up. So I put a trend line on here and I'm looking for this trend line to break to the downside. And let me change the time frame on this. There we go. So this is now sideways and it's at resistance. As you can see, it's taking out all the highs Previously, right to the left of the chart, there's no highs up here. So we're like in space land up here, right? So we want to get this to come down. And, you know, this is what I'm looking at. So if we do something like this, take this and just pull this up like this, right? And then we can just move this up here. And, you know, I'm looking at like um, 1.5735, right? Get in there. And, you know, I'm looking to take profit at 1.635 or 50. I'm looking to take profit. So this could be a nice 100 pip trade on a Friday. And I, I really, you know, out of 1 to 10, I'd say this is probably a 6, that this trade can absolutely work out. And because I, I, I think the euro um, isn't going to produce today. And at this point, I think today the Aussie might be stronger. So we'll see. 
We'll see how it goes. It's a Friday, so I'm not really eager to jump into this. I don't want to be taking any hits on a Friday going into my weekend, right? So we'll take a look and see how it goes. Um, let's just take a look at what's going on. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Pound gen looks pretty interesting. Let's take a look at the pound gen. The beast, as they say, the beast. Here we go again. You know, you know, on this 30 minute chart, you can see this is now sideways. Now, this can be an inverted L, right? And just continue to the upside. Absolutely. So what if it does that? What if this stays bullish, right? Which it probably will. Um, what are you, you going to do here? Well, you know, the easy way to do this is we're just going to um, take a fib, right? And let's just fib this, right? Let's just take this down and we'll fib it to that, to that previous swing. And if you fib that to the previous swing, you know, really if you come back out to the 78.6, right? Come back out to the 78.6, I, I think we can, right? So why don't we look to um, re-enter this here? I'd rather come down to the 50%, right? You'd much rather come down to here. And to me, that looks like a better trade. So we have two entries here. You know, 78.6 we can get in or the 50% I like. And, you know, on a Friday, I don't like to keep my trades overnight. Anyhow, I sure don't want to keep them over the weekend. So this looks like a nice trade today, my friends, and uh, we'll see what happens. Traders, thank you for being with me, tradingwithbill.com. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your uh, days off, and uh, we'll see you on Monday in Asia. Traders, always remember to trade smart and not hard. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.